Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. In this video, I am going to discuss about one of the very important area in piping design engineering which is pipe stress analysis. Because only very few knows about the importance of pipe stress in piping design engineering. And most of us do not have an idea about what is the role of stress engineering in piping design. So this video will help you to understand the basic concepts and the importance of pipe stress engineering in piping design. So let's get started. So before going to the video, just wanted to give you some hint about one of the course which I have recently launched in my website, which is exclusively for, for those who wanted to learn pipe routing for oil and gas and process plant design engineering. So basically this course will give you a knowledge about how you should develop a pipe routing for an oil and gas piping design. And uh, if you visit my site and you will be able to see and you will be able to go through the description of the course and you will be able to watch the preview of the course to understand the intent and the content of the course. So for now, let's get started with our video. So what is pipe stress analysis? So before understanding what is pipe stress analysis, Let's understand what are the issues in piping. There are some problems in piping which are being solved by using pipe stress analysis. So if you understand, if you see the problems in piping, you will be able to understand we need to have some solution, right? For that reason alone, we are using the pipe stress analysis. So what are the problems? Let's start with the first one. In piping, almost most of the materials are metallic materials. Irrespective of the materials, all piping materials are subjected for expansion. Yes, what I'm saying is that the line is going to expand at certain temperature and it's going to uh, contract at different temperature. At low temperature, the piping materials contracts and at high temperature, the piping materials expands. So what actually happens in the processes? Consider a carbon steel pipe. A carbon steel pipe with 1 meter of length will expand 1 mm at 100 degree Celsius. Uh, this number, this value could be an average value. There are some specific expansion rate are being given in uh, ASME B31.3 in expansion charts and expansion tables. You can watch that actually for your reference. But what I'm trying to say is, when a carbon steel pipe of 1 meter expands 1 mm, 1 mm expansion for 1 meter, you should imagine in this way. What if, if you have 100 meter of piping, that would expand around 100 mm, right? So, where are we going to observe this expansion? If we are not going to consider this expansion, this material is going to expand anyway which is a natural process because of the temperature expansion, which is otherwise known as thermal expansion. So this is going to hit or this is going to impact a force on any other object, which will move the other object by 100 mm. What if the other object is a structure or an equipment? So the equipment will be moved 100 mm. If the equipment is so strong enough, it will damage the nozzle. And if the structure is so strong enough, it will push the structure in such a way that the piping will be damaged. See, if the structure is strong enough, the piping will get damaged because of its own expansion. And if the structure is weak, the structure will be damaged. So how do we have to balance this? So we have to balance this by bringing some, uh, some additional supports in order to manage these forces. So thermal expansion, which is uh, a very natural phenomenon in piping. This is one case. And the other case is displacements due to various other forces. So one of the forces, what I say is thermal expansion, which could displace the pipe. And there are other forces such as water hammering effect due to the fluid flow due to two phase scenarios in the piping. Two phase scenario is nothing but uh, a single phase means it's a full of gas or full of liquid. If two phase means the, the liquid will have both gaseous phase and as well as the liquid phase. So liquid phase, I mean the in two phase generally water hammering effect will are generally occurs in the piping. So this water hammering effect is so that it will 
hit the the nearby uh, elbows or any change of direction with a heavy force and this force would actually change the dynamics of the piping or it would push the entire piping arrangement to certain uh, mm or to a certain length actually so basically this will displace from one position to other position so how are we going to manage this one again we have to provide some supports in such a way that these forces are transferred somewhere else instead of hitting on the elbows or hitting on somewhere else which cause the displacement of the piping so this is second scenario and the third scenario vibrations vibrations from critical equipment such as pumps compressors and turbines and there are many too so basically all rotary equipments are considered to be a critical equipment where it would transfer the vibrations to the piping imagine you consider a television you consider a tv and you are going to vibrate you are going to shake this tv throughout the day at for every single minute what happens after a day your tv will have some failure because you are continuously shaking it which is not the tv is not designed for that purpose right so likewise piping is also not designed for vibration you have to control the vibration in such a way that the system will work for a long period of time because vibration is one of the very critical phenomenon that needs to be addressed in piping vibration can damage the structure vibration can bring down the life of the piping system vibration can uh, damage the equipments vibrations can damage the instruments and even supports and valves and critical components of the piping design so this is again the third case which needs to be addressed and there are fourth case some external forces that i was talking about from wind wind effect needs to be considered imagine that we all might have experienced the wind effect at uh, uh, much uh, i mean in multi story building if you go to a level of 20th floor and 25th floor you can experience the wind speed which is much higher than the wind speed at the third floor and second floor right so that is how it is if you see the process plan you will find the tall towers you will find the tall pipe cranes which is experiencing all this wind effect continuously throughout the day throughout the year so wind is not going to act only from one direction the wind direction would change uh, according to the the seasonal climate changes so this entire uh, arrangement including the piping and structure needs to be designed in such a way that it can withstand the wind effect as well so this is another case and the next case is seismic effect seismic effect is nothing but an earthquake effect because uh, in the world there are areas there are places which are uh, uh, known to be uh, most popular for i mean uh, not popular i mean uh, prone for uh, earthquakes basically so in these countries if you are building a piping system or if you are building a process plant in these countries or these places you have to consider the seismic effect in the piping so what it generally means is that you will consider certain forces to be acting on the piping so you will uh, you will plan your pipe supports accordingly to withstand these forces so in case if the earthquake uh, in case your plant experience the earthquake scenarios actually it will still withstand the overall loads because you have considered that in pipe stress analysis and you have designed your pipe supports accordingly so this is an other case and especially uh, in more colder places such as the the north uh, arctic regions where the snowfall is much higher the snow is going to deposit over the pipe so this is another case you have to uh, consider likewise we have several cases say for example rv pop up the pressure relief pops up when pressure relief valve pops up it is going to exert some huge forces so how do we going to address these forces if you are not going to address this force this is going to damage the bolts it is going to damage the the piping itself it's going to damage the the i mean the nearby uh, instruments or anything which is near to it actually so we have to address each and every scenarios moreover in high temperature lines the expansion will be much higher consider when a plant starts the plant starts at a very uh, i mean ambient temperature right what is an ambient temperature it is 21 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius that would range from one country to another country right but uh, the operating temperature would be somewhere around 150 uh, at cases the operating temperatures are around 300 
and again when the plant goes for shutdown the line will uh, come back to its original uh, position right from where it started so from 21 degrees celsius to 300 degrees the line is going to expand and then it is going to contract so this movement so where it is being supported is also experiencing this field right so uh, let me put in this way actually so you have placed your piping over the structure okay if your piping is going to move for 100 mm or 300 mm whatever be it, it is it will have some frictional force over the structure right so this frictional force will, is actually acting on the structure if the structure is not designed properly and not designed to withstand these frictional forces it is going to fail in a longer period of i mean it is going to fail maybe in a month or a year that you cannot um, predetermine these scenarios so the essential part that you have to do is that design the structure in such a way that you withstand these forces because these forces are going to be continuous throughout your operation cycle because you are, you are going to start the plan you are going to shut down the plan and again uh, the temperatures will uh, start from zero and it will go high again it has to come back and um, along with that you will experience a wind effect you will experience a rv pop up scenario there are multiple cases so basically stress engineer identifies the different cases that is going to occur in piping design i mean in the piping networks and he will design the entire uh, piping supports accordingly now let me tell you one of the very important uh, the qualification that we have to do it actually see when the piping connects to an equipment you have to qualify the nozzle of the equipment why do we have to qualify the nozzle of the equipment because all equipment such as pressure vessels pumps compressors or turbines every equipments will have some allowable loads for the nozzle beyond which it will not take beyond which it will actually experience this failure it will damage the nozzle if the nozzle of the pressure vessel gets damaged you can you can imagine this way that the cost of a pressure vessel is 10 times more than the cost of a, a meter of piping so basically you have to safeguard all the equipments in the a uh, process plan or any other plan because equipment values are much higher than compared to piping or pipe support values but by providing proper pipe supports you can safeguard all the equipment so every equipment will have allowable nozzle loads actually so if you don't maintain this allowable nozzles in such a way that your forces the forces from your piping should not go beyond the allowable uh nozzle loads of the respective equipments if it goes above the allowable loads generally the equipment is going to fail and you have to replace that equipments but by means of providing proper pipe supports you can avoid this scenario and you can safeguard these equipments so these are all the things that you have to do with. so basically you have your pipe support needs to be designed in such a way that you bring all the forces within the allowable loads not only that piping should also have a flexibility we cannot limit all the forces we have to allow certain uh, forces in such a way that it will not disturb any other equipments or any other instruments or anything in the piping system so that is where we provide expansion loops or natural expansion by changing the direction of the piping because when you provide an expansion loop it will have a spring effect it will have a cushion so the entire thermal expansions will be taken care in the within the thermal expansion the part of piping so this is how we have to think about actually so thermal expansion needs to be addressed the water hammering effect needs to be addressed wind effect needs to be addressed seismic effect needs to be addressed and most upset conditions like rv pop ups or any other upset scenarios in the piping system needs to be addressed these are all things can only be done in pipe stress analysis so pipe stress engineer filters out the critical lines critical lines based on certain factors that the specific client document specifies certain client documents have some conditions about the critical lines so the very first thing that the pipe stress engineer has to do is to filter out the critical lines and he has to perform the pipe stress analysis for all of these documents i mean all of these lines and suggest and recommend the proper pipe support design in order to save the piping system in order to make the piping system to uh, last longer and in order to Uh, save the equipments in order to improve the safety of the overall plant and the infrastructure so this is one of the very critical uh, area and uh, this is one of the critical responsibility of the pipe stress engineer so this is the very importance of the pipe stress engineering is all about so i believe that this video would have helped you to understand what is the importance of pipe stress engineering and 
what are the things that we generally do in pipe stress engineering in piping design. So basically pipe stress engineering is one of the primary area in piping design which has a very good scope in future because this involves a lot of analytical, mathematical and technical and engineering approaches in the work actually. So basically pipe stress engineering is an interesting area in piping design. So I hope that this video has helped you to understand about pipe stress engineering. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then bye from Subhash Chandra.